this video, I'm going to be talking about using pop-ups on your website. So pop-ups are a common way to present website users with a way to sign up for a freebie, subscribe to an email list, or view a special offer. I encounter a lot of people who want them installed on their sites because they just see them everywhere and they think that they are popular and useful. But should you have one and do they work? In my personal experience, they are more annoying than anything else. Unless I've come to the site looking for that exact offer, I will basically always close the pop-up before I even read it because I'm already looking for something else and the pop-up is getting in my way. So a study done in 2016 found that half of the people polled found pop-ups to be either very annoying or extremely annoying. Simply having a pop-up is not helpful because generally speaking, people find them to be a hindrance. But still sites utilize them, so how can you make a pop-up work for you? A pop-up should be valuable, not to you, but to the user. So how can we make that happen? Think about why the user is on your site in the first place. What are they looking for? What are they looking to accomplish? If you can know that, you can provide a pop-up that offers value and solves a problem and basically helps them actually complete their goal. If they're here for your blog, offer a sign up so that they can automatically get your post to their email inbox. If they're here to buy a coffee maker, offer a 10% off coupon. The other important thing is to remember timing. Think about when you walk into a store or a shop, if someone is right there at the door and they immediately ask if they can help you, you're probably gonna be a little bit taken aback, a little bit annoyed and will probably just automatically say no thank you, even if you're not exactly sure where to go. However, say you're able to walk right into the shop and you begin looking for the item that you need for a minute or two, and you realize that you don't know where it is. And then somebody appears and asks if you need help. You're more primed to actually form and ask a question versus when you right walked into the store. Think of pop-ups in the same way. They should come at the right time and in the right place. High converting pop-ups are delayed by 30 to 60 seconds and maybe don't even appear until a few pages have been visited or until a certain percentage of the page has been scrolled through. Having a pop-up appear in a corner of the page is also way less invasive than one that appears right in the center, which then needs to be closed in order for the visitor to go back to what they're doing. The pop-up should also be concise but clear about what the value is that it provides. Sign up here provides no value. Sign up to receive monthly coupons is a lot more clear and explains more about what the user actually gets. A sign up is valuable to you, whereas coupons are valuable to them. So back to the question of, should you have a pop-up on your site? If you can say, I have value to provide my user and I can show it to them after they've had a moment to get their bearings, then sure. However, remember that mobile users account for the majority of traffic on the web right now. And Google isn't a fan of intrusive pop-ups on mobile devices. They tend to be harder to use since the screen is so much smaller, the exit button will be smaller, and it really just disrupts the experience. Google has gone so far as to penalize sites who don't follow the proper usage guidelines for pop-ups. So make sure that you're using pop-ups in the right way as well. I've included a link down below so that you can do some research on your own. If you'd like to have pop-ups on your site, if you're confident that you can use them effectively and that your users will find them valuable, my favorite plugin for WordPress websites is called Pop-Up Zen. It's a new plugin. It's very easy to download and to begin using. You have customization options over the look and feel of the pop-up. I like to use them in the corner rather than in the middle. You'll need to integrate it with your email marketing automation software of choice. What I love about this plugin is that it asks the user if they'd like to sign up at all before even showing a form. It's way less pushy and basically just says, hey, I've got a thing you might like. Would you like more information or would you like to get it? And the user can say yes or they can ignore it. So those are all of my feelings on pop-ups. I've included some links to resources and things for you to read below, as well as a link to download pop-up sent on your WordPress site for free. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments below for me to answer. Also, please visit my website, Pixel Glow Web Design, for information on my web design, WordPress maintenance, and website strategy services.